the key of preparing wedding planning session either it is a big or a small event. You will obtain a good wedding plan when you have a proper discussion and many ideas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roza Menayok, and based on my research and experience as a wedding planning for the past three years, I would like to share about what you should do for your wedding, especially for Malay wedding. So my topic today is to be a Malay wedding planning. The specific purpose for, uh, for my topic is to inform all of you here on the important message <coughs> about Malay wedding planning. The central idea is things to be considered during preparing your wedding planning. Three main things you should be considered when you when you try to organize your own wedding planning. Is the first one should be your budget. And the budget you have to make sure you use all your money wisely. Okay? The second one is your guest list. And the third one is prepared. Prepared means preparing preparing on your physical and also on your mental. Okay. That's the three main things you should consider when you try to organize your wedding ceremony or, <coughs> or any event. This is the three key things you should think. Okay? So today I would I would like to focus on the <coughs> planning on your budget. Okay. So when you are trying to organize your wedding ceremony, the few things that you have to come across to your mind. <coughs> uh, the first one is give money to grab or emotionally with the one hundred dollars. Okay. For those who didn't know, uh, during, uh, according to to the statistics, the lowest and now is a 6,000, right? So the 6,000 is only you can get if you go to Kampu Kampu lah. 6,000. But now, at the KL, the minimum you can get, uh, the minimum offer lah for the, for the price is more than 6,000. And <coughs> some is more than 10,000 lah. The second one is that you have to consider about cost of event. The cost of event here, you have to include the Food and catering. Okay, and the food, food and catering. In KL, the price now is more than 10 ringgit. But you, you can get an IM 5 ringgit per head if you go to outside. Uh. Okay, you also have to think about your guest gift. Your gift is 3 ringgit per head. The 10 chairs, the table. So the the fourth item that you have the third item you have to consider is the photographer. Okay, the photographer now the minimum cost will be the RM one thousand payment. So for this one you can learn, you have to consider all these things. Eh? The next one is consistency money. Consistency money is in terms of emergency money because uh, you you can expect what will happen on your wedding. So you must have your emergency money in case you want to buy um, to buy uh, any additional item to be used when you're waiting. Okay, uh, usually it will cost uh, 10% from the total cost. So, the, uh, based on the statistics, the minimum total cost is RM20,000 for the, for the one event. So, it costs you to the contingency money. Okay, for the study not, study not in Malay is solemnization or reception. Lah. The thing is, you have to Take not for the side the not is your clothes, your bridal day, makeup for girls, and also the wedding ring. Okay. So, uh, are you expect for girls? Are you expecting to have your wedding ring? It's for the cost of RM one one hundred only. Of course not, and so you have to consider the budget for the wedding ring. Huh? So, uh, the statistics also shown that. The wedding ring that requests from the bride is more than one thousand. So also you have to take note, eh? Okay, the gift and hantaran. So the total charge for the side not event is the RM eight thousand. 
Okay. After we have all the plans for the budget, okay, I want to give you the tips for you to make how to manage your own budget. Eh? The budget tips. The budget tips is listed by the NCCA. The NCCA is Accountancy Associate. Okay. Accountancy Associate listed also listed the wedding budget in a financial outline. Okay. The first one is if you have, if you want to know how to manage your budget, the first one you have to discuss with your partner. <coughs> discuss means you have to, you have the guidelines on what you want to do and what you want to have on your wedding. So you have the basic outline for the for your budget. Lah. The second one the priority. Priority means which things important you have to buy first. Lah. So the maybe the the lousy one you can buy later to marry. The third one, who and what you should pay. Okay, who and what you should pay, that means if the if the hantar and it means hantar from the girl uh, from the bride or groom, also the bride has to bear the cost. Lah. If the hantar is from the groom, so the groom has to bear all the cost. Okay. The fourth one is financial status. Okay, financial status here means <laughs> When you are uh, when you are preparing your budget, make sure you have to know what your finance, what your own financial status. So don't don't try to overcome or make, or don't try to over it because you will suffer later. Okay. The, the the next one is if you want to have a grand event, of course you have to have a lot of money. So when you want to have a lot of money, you have to work hard. Work hard here means you you can get extra income from your part-time job or also you can apply loan because nowadays banks also uh, uh, also let uh, what couples to apply loan for their marriage. Okay? <laughs> the next one is divide your budget. Get quotation. Get quotation here means uh, you get a quotation for all the things that you are inquire for your wedding lah. So when you get a commission, you have your budget and how on what let's say as what I'm listed previous. Okay, choose your best supplier based on quality and quantity. Get right figure. Keep everything in record, okay? And the last one is always check on your budget. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.